Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Jaden just burst into my room. Uh, see what he wants. Welcome to the first annual Duel Academy Scary Story Fright Fest. So we're telling scary stories. Great! <laughs> uh, so they're going to talk about some really silly... Oh, they're talking about the Shadow Games. That's scary, I guess. <laughs> I had a Shadow Game against a student earlier. It's kind of weird. Um, and Jaden's going to talk about who he hears voices, which isn't concerning at all, right? <laughs> um, this is after we've acknowledged that dual spirits are a thing, though, so we can't be talking about that, right? What's oh, Banner's scary story about the old abandoned dorm? Does that mean there used to be a fourth, uh, like, dorm group? Like, it's like the Obelisk Bra and a fourth one. Or maybe the Slifer dorm used to be that one, and now it's this rundown shack. <laughs> but I guess Crowler didn't know about the abandoned dorm until now? That's weird. It's like Jaden's showing up at our house again this night, tonight. And we're gonna head out and look for the abandoned dorm, which I assume will just appear on the map somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Cool. Haunted dorm. Right, we found it. Yeah, there's something funny about this place. It's a haunted dorm. If it wasn't anything funny about it, it wouldn't be haunted. Hmm. This is a long way from campus. Like, it'd be really inconvenient as a dorm. And we're gonna fight Titan. Let Alexis go, Titan. Oh, we have to in a duel. Jaden's gonna take over. Uh, I've gotta do it? Okay. Alright, let's swap this back over. Um, made some slight changes to my deck since last time. Um, Jerry Beansman leveled up, so I got a second copy of him. Uh, so I've chuffled the monsters around a little bit. That's all. Uh, here comes a shadow game. What have we got here? Um, guess we'll just start off setting money to bug. Should do. He has Archfiend monsters, right? That's not an Archfiend monster at all. That's a, a good trade, I think. Money to bug for DD Assailant. Uh, I'm a little worried about how high the attack points are getting on these fights now. Some damage. It's fifteen hundred. We're well on our way. Yikes! Slate Warrior is huge. Okay, we've got Stimpak. We can get over it. But uh, the monster we win, we destroy it with, we'll lose attack points. So that's a shame. Let's use this horn in. Oh, MST. And emergency provisions, that's fine. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll fire off Silent Fiend. Get back to Kamari Dragon. So I have enough monsters for this two prompt attack. Hoping he's running out of monsters. Yeah, looks like he might be. Yep, we'll activate our effect. Two pronged attack. Tribute that. The second. So expensive. Look at that. Three for one.
Okay. Uh, not think any wasps is before our biggest monster. Oh, Spirit Reaper. Can we beat that? Do we have anything that targets? Like, reinforcements or something like that can clear it. Oof. Oh no. One of illusion, yeah. Oh, he's changed Spirit Reaper to attack. We're gonna have to hide behind Magician. Uh, hide behind Mr. Galov for a while. Unless he thinks to attack it with Wall of Illusion to bounce it. Oh, unless we lose it here. Oh no! <laughs> uh, we're on 59. Hmm. Okay, um, so we punch over Wall of Illusion while we can, right? We shouldn't be able to beat us this turn, but we're going to lose a card to Spirit Reaper. Hey, Sangan, that's a good card. This guy's got a really solid deck, what the heck? Keeps dodging those. Okay, we want to draw something. I don't know. Mystic Plasma Zone. We win, right? Mm, I'm not about to risk rolling this trend level 6. But at least maybe. If I have no cards in my hand, maybe he'll cool it. And let him search his valuable monster. Can't be that bad, right? We've another wall of illusion. We're going in circles. This does not look good. Oh, it's going to try to draw a card. Or, or not, as it might be. Okay, so this is going to be, what, 600, 1,000, and 300. We can live this. I'll, I'll, I'll risk waiting. I need to roll a 6 with the matter, so. Not good odds. At least we're not losing any cards from our hand anymore. <laughs> I don't know what we'll gets to say. I think this is a loss. Sanya it's worse. Search a monster, but we can't summon it. Yep. I think we're losing here. Meant to attack Wall of Illusion there, but never mind. It didn't make any difference. We'll have to rethink this. I don't think there's really any changes we can make to the deck. There's not anything disguised other than playing all dark monsters by the look of it. Maybe we take out Mystic Plasma Zone, but they're not all dark monsters. So Slate Warriors Wind. Um, there's nothing exploitable about his uh, thing. I think they're all fiends. Yeah, not all fiends. Game over! Oh, that's our first game over. Wait, doesn't that take you back to when you last saved rather than to when you, uh, rather than just at the beginning of the day, like a normal. Uh, <laughs> oh, when did I last save? Uh oh. Oh, I don't like this. What day is it? It was Sunday in game when I was when I lost. And it is now Saturday. So we've gone back to before the first encounter with Jaden. Uh, when they were telling spooky stories. Alright, I will play back up to where we were before and uh, get back to you. Okay, so while I was running around here hoping to run into Adhesive Explosive again, I ran into a Dark Magician girl? 
Uh, yes, yes, she gave me a card. Sage of Stone. That's not a very useful card, but uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, so we're back in the duel. Um, we won the Rock Paper Scissors. Let's go first again. We're going to need a bit of luck to win this one. <laughs> um, that's not terrible. Let's start with this while he's got the most cards in his hand. Set everything that needs to be set. Pandemonium. So he does play Archfiends, he just didn't play any last time. Hey DDSA, so look, he's not playing any this time either. Um, I'm fine with this. Oh, that's a bit of damage, putting us ahead. One set card. We're going to have to use Giant uh, Magneto Bug again. Could attack over with Jerry Bensman, but kind of need him to be doing some damage. this. I'll take it slowly. Ooh, Excel Force. I guess he's going to clear my monster that he can't get over otherwise, right? Yeah. This is good. We've managed to, like, resolve the field. There's no way to get rid of a Salem without losing a monster, so... This is probably the best way to do it. Maybe not. I'm not sure. The money to could have been used to beat a 1900, whereas Jerry Beansman can only get out something like this. Oh, well. Let's kill him for some damage. Hey, he's uh He's not being aggressive. Um, Curse of Fiend. No. Curse of Fiend will be good. Uh, that's an out to um, Slate Warrior. It has very low defense. So let's um, push in more attacks. I'm going to go with Jerry Means, if that's another DD Assailant. Oh, Wall of Illusion. I forgot about that. Okay. How would I do that? Probably have to use Curse of Fiend. Depends what he does. He's got a weak monster out. Maybe he'll uh, summon something and then change to attack. Yep. Um, I think we negate this and then... Mm. Or do we just uh, let it die? If we negate it, we'll be changing it to defense mode with Curse of Fiend. And then attacking over Slate Warrior. Uh, I think we should protect the monster what we can. Giant Rat. Um, I'm actually not going to use Curse of, uh, Curse of Fiend. And. Um, what I'll do is I'll attack over the Wall of Illusion while it's, in, while it's vulnerable. That'll bounce my monster, but that's fine. I can go ahead and set Giant Rat. Maybe I should have set that. Guild Oh gosh, there's two monsters I want to be able to get over. And we're going to be able to do it because the giant rat's so good. So we'll giant rat for giant rat. Oh, we won't be able to do it because the monster I summon off giant rat always goes into defense. Yeah. So. We get put into defense mode with there. Uh, I mean, you've got not a change of the atmosphere for the monster, the curse of fiend changes. Um. I'll keep some of them that. Let's depth then get something else. Uh, we can 
clear one of them but not the other, that's the problem. So I guess I'll just get DD Warrior. So I'll change them both to defense mode, I'll summon a monster to attack over one but not the other. That's not bad. Uh, we don't need to commit a good monster. <laughs> Um, so when I attack over this, it'll lower my uh, Feral Imp's attack. But that's fine, main phase 2 will fire off Shadow Pain. It was a really good draw. And that's cleared the field. All good. Where are the Archfiend monsters? He's playing Pandemonium. Oh gosh. Ludge in, but we've already got DD Warrior to get rid of that. He's not even going to attack it. Okay, you don't need me to do it. Reinforcements. Oh yeah, the Spirit Reaper you could use. I'm going to be careful with that then. Let's get in there, banish his Lajin. some more damage. Right, we'll set a monster. He seems to be around the 1800s and 1900s, so we might have to catch him off guard with a re reinforcement and then maybe push for game. Or not. He'll just play defensively. That's fine too. Hopefully we'll get another monster. Just graceful dice. Uh, got us a whim then. Let's try our luck. Yeah. Heads, please. Hey, it worked. So that's a 1900. Um, if I get really lucky with uh, Graceful Dice, we could win here. Um, actually, maybe not even then. We've got reinforcements as well. I'm going to attack with her because it could be another Wall of Illusion. Sanger. Okay, so what would I need to roll after a reinforcements? to win with Graceful Dice. Um, so we, uh, 17, 20, 22, I need to roll a 3. That's not worth the risk, is it? I mean, it is, because you can win the game. Do, do we, like, just lose immensely if it goes wrong? Chances are he's going to summon that new Dora he searched and attack over Goddess of Wind. Yep. Lightning Vortex! Oh no, that's so bad! That's so, so bad. Oh, I should have risked it and pushed for game. Yikes. Okay. Uh, good strong monster, one of our 1500 attackers. And we win, right? Not even. Any monster, really. Can we do it with Mystical Elf? With reinforcements? Stimpak? Let's go for it! <laughs> there we go, one juiced up Mystical Elf. Yes, I got to it. I probably wasn't damaged, so I have no idea how this game works. <laughs> That's going to do 800 damage, right? That's game. No problem at all. <laughs> so I think that wraps everything up happily. Yeah. Is this the power of the spirits? Mm. Well, Jerry Beansman was involved a bit, I suppose. <laughs> They all lived happily ever after. So that's it. <laughs> Except Crowler. Crowler was not happy at all. So. Okay, he's quite happy. Maybe he has another plan. We'll find out what that is another time. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!